yo what is going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm bringing you guys another high rated db video we have k Pryo with 912 rating versus nesh with 1695 rating we are going to see also before we get any further if you guys could drop a like on this video greatly appreciate it greatly helps out the channel i haven't played not that i haven't played i haven't posted in only a day i didn't post yesterday so i apologize for that i'm trying to post every single day at least once a day so today i'm gonna try to get two videos up for you guys if you guys want, let me know if you guys would like an uh, opening video because I did just buy three cases of the tin and I'm probably going to open it, but I don't know if I should record it or not. You guys let me know down there in the comment section. Anyway, with all that being said, I forgot who went first. Looks like Nesh is going first, right? But we have K Pryo open up Saki, Tama, Droll, Nib, uh, Sigma, and Diameter. Uh, Nesh opens up Book of Moon, Imper, Branded Beast, High Spirits, Book of Moon. That's a whole brick and a half. So he's just going to set four cards past turn. And then the opponent is going to draw subtraction, move to his main phase, and hit him with thinking emoji, of course. Going to start with Sigma special. Okay. Then maybe subtraction, maybe? Nope. Book of Moon on summon. Okay. Fair. Saki Tama effect to normal. Okay. Normal summon on spirit. Doesn't have that. On summon. Book. Again. Normal summon diameter. He has extenders for days. Actually, this is his last extender uh so that's gonna be met with nothing yeah uh, nesh is gonna admit defeat he said what deck are you playing haha -ha. book deck miss your podcast he said pack is lazy that's crazy boom 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 shots fired bro um but yeah that was an unfortunate brick uh nesh does just admit defeat he overlays diameter and what's it called into the thing and then he has a negate for the imperm so search it circular and then just otks right there but the pack is crazy line that is wild um so we're gonna see nesh decide to go first again uh k prio opens up subtraction small world defensor sigma and arutama Nesh opens up Branded and High Spirits, Regain, Branded and White, Magma, and Retribution. I'm sure he could do some out there. I'm sure he can make something work with this hand, but it's unfortunate he keeps drawing pretty unfortunate. So it starts in the uh, draw phase there. Goes High Spirits, Reveal the Magma. And he said, Hope you back soon. I mean, I mean, Nesh has his own channel. You know, yeah, it's, not, it's not bad. He's going to normal summon Quam after activating Regain. Let's see what he dumps here. I'm curious. I don't know what he's... Oh, it could just be Albaz into Mirror Jade into Draw 1 into... Yeah. So it is going to be Albaz and then Brandon and White. He could also make Albion, to be honest. But he's thinking... He's just going to go straight for Mirror Jade. Yeah. And then he's going to get Regained here to put back and draw so put back albion draw droll pretty good against math mech especially if he starts with this small world which he will got him so main phase one activate small world subtra subtraction into parallel exceed into circular add circular drop droll and yeah drop droll there and then let's see normal summon aritama use the effect go go grab oh yeah no effect obviously because a droll just summon then circular effect dump sigma sigma effect special itself back out math make circular effect um go up into laplacian and then laplacian effect chain the mirror jade to banish yeah banish the laplacian he's gonna send the guiding quam in the set card okay and then k prio admits defeat there yeah, Droll, Mirror, Jade, follow-up. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, I didn't... Oh, yeah, never mind. So, we're going to see Mathmet go first. Open up Sigma, Diameter, Firewall, Guardian, Nib, and Droll. I'm pretty sure this isn't the one you want to draw, but still actually isn't bad. Nesh opens up Blazing Cartesia, Abyssal, Mercurior, Ash, and another Abyssal. Nice, nice, nice. So, actually can play and actually will be able to interrupt him a lot here. So, starts with Sigma... Normal summon diameter, go up in Albert, Albert effect, detach two to go search for circular. And then he's going to go circular effect, dump sigma. He does have a negate on the field right now. Never mind. He's going to go uh, tag out into sigma, then circular effect, search for super fact. Sure. And then turn those two, splash mage, splash mage effect, reborn sigma. Yeah, that was under the thing, but he's going to drew a swarm that, or, uh, so we're near that, banish the Sigma. Just going to go ahead and set Super Factorial. 
and he's going to pass turn. Uh, during the end phase, ball drake, banish diameter. Yep. So super factorial, no longer. I mean, it is live, but it's not doing what he wants it to do, obviously. Draw imperm off the top. And then normal summon blazing. Let's see what he decides to do here. It's going to go up into floor. And then Seronier effect, chain super factorial. Uh, Nesh says think on that. He is going to negate and destroy that. So negate, destroy the super factorial. Seronia resolves, dumping Bistu Lubelion, battle phase, floor, beat over sage, attack for 25 direct with ball drake, main phase two, tribute ball drake, summon out Bistu Lubelion, effect to place a branded continuous ball trap face him your spell trap zone. And then he's going to set imperm with ash and then end phase. He can floor tag out into ball drake or even quent, uh, blazing if he wants to. Um, standby phase, thinking. Let's see what he decides to do. He's going to tag out into the blazing. Does make sense. Does make sense. It's going to get Sigma effect here to special summon from grave. Regained effect. Oh, yeah. Yeah, regain, bring back ball drake. Yeah, you definitely just don't even bring back the ball drake off of floor because that does it for you. So, yeah, regain, bring back ball drake. And then normal summon firewall. Go up into Link Karibo. Firewall effect is going to summon itself back. And then overlay those two for Albert. Albert effect, chain, imperm, potentially. Or ball drake. Ball drake, tribute the bestial Lubelion to banish Albert. And then search for subtraction. And then subtraction, subtract from ball drake, summon. He's going to chain blazing. Ooh, that's nice. Because it gains target on phase one of the field. You're not supposed to want to the extra for this to turn. Except cybers. Also, special summon this card from your hand. But it cannot attack this turn. And if you do, it loses that. Okay, so it still summons. So he still summons. He said, let me read chain link one send, chain link one send, two to summon. So he's using both of the Grand Goyle effects here because subtraction was summoned. So he's going to get the effect to mill a level six or higher letter dark. And then he's going to get the effect to summon Quem. So it's going to send Rinbrum there. Then Quem effect chain link one, regain chain link two, put back draw blazing, dump Albaz. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Then addition, target subtraction, summon. Okay. And then he's going to go into link decoder, turn all of those into transcode, link decoder effect to bring itself back out. And then on res, he's going to go Renbrum, banish to summon Albaz to try to make a mirror jade. So banish the Renbrum, summon Albaz, use the effect, discard blazing, summon potentially mirror jade. Yep, Mirror Jade with Transcode Talker, and it's looking like game, yeah. GG's, GG's across the board. So we just see, you know, another another victim fall into the Nesh's branded. It is what it is, very solid, GG's. Catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.